Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Exciting news, as it were, about the new Nikon mirrorless that we're expecting to be announced August 23rd. We've got names for them. We'd originally heard we thought they were the Z500 and the Z300, um, but according to, uh, I think, more than one source online, but certainly Nikon rumors, it's going to be the Z6 and the Z7. Now, as you know, we're looking, we're, we're waiting on a 45 megapixel high resolution camera mirrorless from Nikon and a 24 megapixel version of more of a low light champion. They're saying that the names are the Z6, which is the 24 megapixel high speed low light model, and the Z7, which is the 45 megapixel high resolution model. Now, the Z nomenclature, I think, is a no brainer because we're expecting what well, we've seen the pictures of the new Z mount. So it makes sense that they're going to follow that nomenclature through and that that Z mount is going to bear into the names of these. The 6 and the 7 is interesting because it really bears no relation to the megapixels. And being as these are Nikon's first full frame mirrorless cameras, actually their first uh, mirrorless cameras if we don't look at the 1 series, it's interesting that they would choose 6 and 7. Um, I'm not sure that we can draw any parallels there. I mean, we have a D750 and a D610, both of which are 24 megapixels and not either particularly high-end. The 750, I guess, is a more of a pro body, but a smaller one. Um, just interesting, I'm not sure where the 6 and the 7 draw from. Certainly not um, related to the megapixels. I mean, a Z7 at 45 megapixels, it doesn't bear out. And neither does the 6 at 24 megapixels. But interesting nonetheless. We also know we're going to be getting um, three lenses announced with it. A 24-70 f4, a 50 f1.8, and a wide angle. Either a 24 f1.8 or a 28 f1.8 or even a 35 f1.8. They don't know yet uh, for sure which one of those three wide angles. But the other two are pretty much a given. Uh, 24-70 f4, I think that's a great idea. I think it'll keep it smaller lighter um, and with the zooms um, you don't need more than f4 as you know i'm a big fan of the uh, 24 to 120 f4 vr in the current dslr full frame from nikon great lens 50 f18 one of my favorite lenses of all time traditionally one of the least expensive but best performing lenses bear none in the lineup in other words it doesn't matter that it's the cheaper one it still just about outperforms just about anything out there Pretty much other than speed, you cannot beat a Nikon 50mm f1.8G. As sharp as a tack, as beautiful bokeh, uh, amazing lens. The only thing you're paying more for as you step up is the speed. So great option there. Uh, cheaper to produce. Very, very sharp. So that'll be work well with these 45 megapixel body as well as the 24 so you'll be able to maximize the image quality. The 24 to 70 uh, f4 zoom, I would imagine even by being nature of f4, it'll be easier for Nikon to make an even sharper, better performing lens rather than a bigger, faster lens. And uh, so it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see which one we get for a wide angle. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you think about the names, the Z6 and the Z7? Any thoughts on why they're called that? Um, do you like the names? What do you think about the lens offerings? Are you, like me, okay with the 24-70 to 70 f4, or would you have preferred it to be a 2.8? I like it. What do you think? What about the 50 f1.8? I think that's a no-brainer, but let me know what you guys think on that one. And then with these wide angles, what would you prefer? A 24, a 28, or a 35? Bear in mind, we're looking at they're probably all going to be, uh, uh, each of them, whichever one we get is going to be an f1.8. Are you okay with the speed? And which one would you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to see what you think of this new information, how you're taking it in, what would you prefer on the lenses, how do you feel about the lenses, and what would you prefer on which wide angle if you had your choice. Looking forward to hearing your feedback. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, the excitement builds as we await the 23rd announcement, August 23rd, for the mirrorless. Talk to you soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.